Hi, welcome to 5 Minute Friday. I'm Holly Collins, Coordinator of Parent and Family Engagement for the Fairfield Sassoon Unified School District. Today I have two guests who are going to explain the steps that the school district is taking to ensure the safety of all students and staff while on campus. I have Megan Thole, Principal of Cleo Gordon Elementary School, and she is going to explain the Cal OSHA Site Specific Plan, which is a plan that every school site has developed to ensure the safety of all students while on campus. I also have Joey Glazier, who is our district safety technician, and he will explain the Cal OSHA COVID-19 Prevention Program, which is a safety plan for all employees of the district and commonly referred to as the CPP. We know that the health and safety of our community is a top priority when thinking about in-person instruction. All school sites have safety precautions in place to ensure this safety. Every school site has created a COVID-19 Cal OSHA site-specific plan, and staff receive ongoing training of this plan. Families can access it through the district website, and we have hard copies in the office. We remind students, staff, and families to stay home if they're not feeling well. Wear a mask, practice social distancing, cover your nose and mouth if you cough, practice good hygiene, such as washing your hands for 20 seconds, especially after you eat or play, and try to keep your hands away from your face. At our school site, we have additional signage at entry points and areas of traffic, such as the office or library, where we currently distribute materials to students. Prior to coming to campus or to work, we ask staff and families to go over the self-screener, which is embedded in our school site plan, and it's also in our guide for families. If you're exhibiting any symptoms, please do not come to the school campus. When you enter the school site, you must wear a mask and we have hand sanitation stations at the entrance as well as throughout campus and in the office. Once you're in the office, we have plexiglass to serve as a barrier between interactions. We have clean and used utensils marked in baskets and markers on the ground that indicate six feet distance between people. We do ask that you make an appointment before coming into the school and this is posted on our front doors. Our staff room has been modified to ensure social distancing and indicate areas that may need to have a little extra cleaning. Copy rooms have a sign-up sheet, so faculty are in there one person at a time. Staff have PPE provided to them, such as masks and shields, and additional measures are in place, such as plexiglass, air purifiers, and hand sanitizers. Students will be, these, will be given these essential supplies also. For in-person instruction, we will use all entrances to the school to ensure distancing, and we will choreograph entry and exit so we can make sure people come and go safely. Sites are planning additional steps related to both how staff and students will be trained in ongoing COVID-19 safety measures, and these will be outlined in our site-specific plan. I'm confident with these necessary measures in place, we can stay healthy, and together with everyone respecting these guidelines, we will make sure that we are all safe. I'm Joey Glazier. I'm the safety technician for the Fairfield Sassoon Unified School District. I'm responsible for safety related tasks and inspection at all your school sites. The California Occupational Safety and Health Administration or Cal OSHA has deemed it a necessity for all employers in the state to create a COVID-19 prevention program or sometimes referred to as the CPP. The CPP is specifically designed for the employees of the Fairfield Sassoon Unified School District. Since the order was given by Cal OSHA a few weeks ago, a team of staff here in the district have been hard at work identifying different needs, processes, and mitigation strategies that are the most effective and legally compliant to protect our employees from COVID-19. The CPP is a comprehensive document, and I'm going to go over some of the highlights of what we are doing to keep our employees safe. Words do matter, and in an employee protection program, we need to make sure that the employees are aware of exactly what terms are being used and what those definitions mean. Section B gives definitions that apply to uncommon words or phrases in our prevention plan. In Section C, we give information on how employees can report safety hazards, procedures for addressing accommodation needs for employees who are high risk for COVID-19, and how employees can access COVID-19 testing. There are procedures on how we identify and evaluate hazards, how employees will need to screen themselves before coming to work each day, and how we investigate and respond to COVID-19 cases. Also in Section C are procedures for how we may correct hazards and information on training provided to our employees. We have two state orders to follow that require we wear masks when on school district property and different methods to achieve physical distancing. 
Some of the steps the district is taking to minimize the spread of COVID-19 include physical distancing, providing barriers such as plexiglass for teachers and office staff, and allowing some staff to work from home while in distance learning. Other steps being taken include adjusting HVAC systems, enhanced cleaning and disinfecting protocols, and limiting the amount of time someone will do a task that gives them an exposure. Finally, the district provides personal protective equipment or PPE such as face masks, face shields, and or gloves to its employees. The COVID-19 prevention program also includes the district's response procedures when someone is symptomatic, reports they are in close contact with a positive COVID case, or reports that they themselves have tested positive for COVID. The ultimate goal here is to keep those who are sick or potentially sick with COVID or who have been exposed to it off of campus for a specified period of time. The COVID-19 prevention program concludes with appendices that provide additional guidance, information, and resources, as well as forms the district will be using when inspecting and investigating and responding to COVID-19 concerns. If you have questions, concerns, or comments, the safety office is 707-421-4277, or you can email me at josephg at fsusd.org. Thank you, Principal Thole and Mr. Glazier for joining us today. These plans can be found on our website at www.fsusd.org. To locate your school site-specific plan, you can visit www.fsusd.org forward slash families and click on your school's website. These links and information will be included in the box below. Thank you for joining us and we'll see you next time on 5-Minute Friday.